Buenos días, mis amigos. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Let me get a shimmy back. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, so I woke up. Of course, you know, I'm on and off during the night because Chapito wakes up every two to three hours and I have to feed him. Buddha did pee pee track. She did pee pee on her bed. So, what was it? She did pee pee, so I changed her and then, like, an hour later, Chapito woke up. I was exhausted. Um, and then I woke up again at 7.25 or 7.20 to start getting ready because as you guys know, I'm going to go to the press conference for my big fat Greek wedding and the actors are going to be there. So I made, I made by myself, hold on. I made by myself, yo sola, this uh, you know, it's not nothing fancy like Boy Toy usually does, but I actually made this I you know. Yes. Que paso? And, and mama watch a movie with Danielle, I don't know. Mama <laughs> watch with, I don't know, I mean. With Jenny, Jordan's mom, not Danielle. Mama watch with Jenny with Jordan. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> no. I want to finish this situation with her. And you guys are gonna join me and get through Cyrus. Going down into the drain, it's gorgeous out in Nueva York. Like, it's perfect out. I feel so out of place again with my leather jacket. It's okay. When I came to college, this is where I would pass. I went to John Jay College of Criminal Justice, and this is where I would always go. Columbus Circle. That's right there is Trump Plaza. Dun dun dun. So, it should be right around the corner. And this is where the press conference is going to be held. Okay, so cool story. Noah's gonna come into school here at John Jay. Well, not here, but I would always walk by this hotel and it was always famous people coming in and out. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Um, so it's just awesome that I get to come in. It's not a big deal, but it's just for four years, I would always walk by it. So. It was it was crazy, walking down memory lane. That was it. <laughs> Good day, mis amigos. Good day. It's been a rough morning. I was supposed to be up at 7 to go for a run, but I was so tired. I mean, it's kind of my fault, but it's kind of my fault. Like, I was just sitting up at 12 o'clock at night watching YouTube. But it's because I wasn't tired. Like, that's the thing. I'm not tired. Like, I'm constantly doing something, and it's killing me. It's killing me. It's killing me. But, um, oh my gosh, I woke up and like, all right, we all go at eight. But I slept like crap. Like, I sleep like crap. And now I'm doing this and I'm negating for my training and I have a marathon next weekend and I'm not ready. And the kid is crying again. I just can't stop. Betsy's like, yeah, you just feed him. Or if you feed him, you rock him, he goes to bed. And I watch him go by here. And I have to, I'm neglecting her. Like, I legitimately, he will not go to sleep. He won't lay down and go to rest. <laughs> Basically, everything that Betsy's told me to do has not worked at all. Like, I got so much I want to do today, but I'm not going to do nothing because I'm, I'm, it's going to generally make me into an aggravated mood. <laughs> I'm not meant for this. I'm not bred for this. Here we go. Oh, I think this way. Ooh, the food. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm like concentrated on the food and she's like, well, the view is nice. It's hard. No, no problem. Congratulations on a great job. It's a wonderful, warm movie. 
Thank you. Can, could you relate to this character a lot, giving your background, and also uh, the whole idea of letting go and moving on to the next stage of your life? Absolutely, I can relate, because I, I'm half Greek. My father's side of the family is Greek. My mom's side's French-American, the Xeno side. Um, so growing up in a Greek family, I call it BTGFD, born to Greek family disorder. Um, <laughs> you know what it's like uh, having family members that are very loud, only have like one volume, talk with our hands, our feet. We had extra limbs, we'd be talking with those too. Um, even I do it. Um, but yeah, I was so used to that lifestyle. So in playing Paris, it felt very natural. I felt like I was at home. Um, and I think with Paris, she's, she's experiencing a lot of what Tula experienced in the first movie, like dealing with having overwhelming family members. But she doesn't want to disappoint because they care about her and they only want what's best for her. Good thing on and Joey Fatone. She's so cute. She's amazing. There's Jen. <laughs> Are we Oh wow, what's your accent? Now you're happy. Yeah. Look how beautiful is this. Come on. 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 Come <laughs> and you know she explained to me and I was just like in awe I was like that's cool you know it's a, it's 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 quite an honor for her to to give me something like that because not many people see the 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 non-comedy side of me per se and, and how to deliver something like that to telling your parents you know it's, it's kind of a, a tough thing so it was, are you all from yeah, New York are you all living yeah, yeah. yeah. very cool okay. Can you do a selfie with you yeah <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I'm not going to look at myself. No. Hey, you want to take one? Yeah. Here's a selfie, right? Is that called a selfie anymore? I don't even know what it's like. Hi, Mom. How are you? Oh, do you want your wing? I'm sorry. I'm too Canadian for that. Hello. Hello. Please, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to wipe out. Please take a picture of that. <laughs> Where's Kirk Jones? Hey. You're on the other side. Oh, my gosh. She's so handsome. You didn't want to do that acrobatic. Yeah. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Checking in. Checking in. Okay. Man, what addition, man? What, except for this part. This little part right here. Well, that, that happened if you know the vlog situation. My barber screwed up a little bit. But I don't have hard feelings. I just got a bad man bun. Um, I like having hair. I hate having hair in my face. And unfortunately, my hair is like down here. And it bugs me. But I'm sitting here watching reruns of The Office on Netflix. I actually got to eat. I was a little crabby. Because I, when I don't eat, I'm crabby. And when there's lights, not lights on, um, Betsy's mad at me. She hates me. So shh, don't tell Betsy the lights weren't on. These clicking noises are just, these clicking noises are just regular clicking noises that are not clicking noises of lights turning on. Woo! What's he doing? Yeah, she's eating minion macaroni and cheese. And, Instant ones. And I buy it in here. Yeah. The trick to those is when you boil the water down, you drain a little bit of water out. You leave like a third of the water. That way it comes out nice and cheesy in consistency. And it always goes best with a little, a little bit of this, super wide. She's been a very good girl for me this morning, given that daddy has been just so disconnected. It's not easy having to take care of both just children. Just like that. Yep, just like that. Just like that, right? A lot. I'm watching a lot. Two episodes. Um, but yeah, it's just not, it's not easy. I think he's starting to get awake a little bit. I've been trying to just decharge or to chart recharge and de. I don't know. Hope you're on phone, Betsy. I'm. I don't know. I'm here.
trying to happen. He had to wake back up. 14 years later, did yes. you ever think this day would happen? And uh, I've read a little bit, but why don't you tell us, you know, how it actually came about that we get the... The sequel finally? Yes, the sequel finally. The wait for the sequel is entirely my fault. I apologize as the true <laughs> Winnipegger that I am. Uh, I had written at the end of the first movie that Tula and Ian were parents. And in reality, the struggle to become a parent was uh, real for me. It was very long. And then I did become a mom, happy ending. And on my daughter's first day of kindergarten, I was crying so hard and so loud that other moms were backing away from me. And uh, somebody said, hey, come on, in 13 years, they're gonna go off to college, what's the big deal? And I went, what? <laughs> and that's the moment that I realized I might have had the idea for the sequel, and I went away and started writing that day. In how many years or months I worked did it on the, take? I worked on the script off and on for four months because I wrote a book, as you know, at the same time. Um, my book, Instant Mom, came out, and on the book tour, I saw myself snaked around the line at the bookstore, a mom my age with a child on one side and aging parents on the other, if we're lucky, the sandwich generation, and that's really informed my writing. What What were they buying when they were snaked around? <laughs> my book. <laughs> <laughs> Instant mom. Okay, sure. Dropping a shade oh, sure. in public. Oh, and then we'll do the picture. <laughs> yeah. And there, you know, uh, five years ago, uh, I met Kirk Jones. And I was a huge fan of Kirk's from all your movies. And I approached Kirk at a party and in a stalker-like fashion, not, <laughs> not admitting you know, that I had, was writing the sequel. Actually, it was four years ago. And I said, hello, I'm Nia Vardalis. And you went, are you? And I said, <laughs> I said I'm going to work with you one day. In the creepiest way possible, yeah. I was way too close to you. And um, then as soon as we were ready to go forward, I said to the producers, I have someone in mind, and I would like to work with Kirk Jones. And you sucker, you said yes. I did. I did. <laughs> and they said that was great. They wanted Kirk too. That was the idea. Well, why would they not? Well, why would they not? <laughs> <laughs> was that a surprise? No, it, it was a, a lucky thing. Uh, Kurt came over from England, and I, I don't know if you know this, but why the decision was immediate upon meeting Kirk is when Kurt came in for the meeting, Kurt talked about his family. Not about your body of work, not about um, why Britons are smarter than Americans. <laughs> Nothing like that at all. You just talked about your family, and we... That's good. <laughs> This is the lighting that we used for the film. This is why we look so good. Um, and, you know. and do you know if you're coming back for another We're season? We're shooting right now. Oh, okay. Waiting for BT, and I'm gonna be standing on the corner like a hooker. Do you remember that song? I remember it. It's a little jingle I made up. Not very appropriate, but get to service. I'm not an appropriate kind of gal. <laughs> Hey! Really? <laughs> I'm like, what a jerk! He's such a jerk. <laughs> ah. Oh! Oh, that was pain. Oh! 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 Oh, my back. Oh. As if it's not already ruined. Where is my baby? Oh! Is that creeper you watch, once? You watch a movie, Adam? Yo vi película, yep. And uh, Nana no vino. Ziana didn't come because she was a bad girl. No. Yes, she was a bad girl. Last time we went to the Target thing, she was a bad girl. Right, Nana? And I said, no más película. Right? Tienes que escuchar a mommy and dad, that, right? Or not. Okay, whatever. So, I'll see you. Now the child's leaving. Mm -hmm. So how was how was that? Uh, I don't want to ever do see <laughs> It's like I'm forbidden to go out now. Never. Never again. At least at least a year. <laughs> Shackles or, are on. Or uh, or uh, he can go without every two hours of eating and crying. 
and not want to sleep. Oh, welcome to my world. Yes. You don't do anything all day. What do you do? You just sit on social media. No, I'm breastfeeding, doing social media, editing while taking care of him and her. Go multitasking. That's my life, babe. That is your life. You can have that life. So do you appreciate me a lot more? I appreciate what you do. So you're not going to bother me with dinner every day? I'm still going to bother you with dinner. <laughs> I, I feel like you've got the rhythm. Like, you can do it. I can't. I get frustrated. You'll see. I vlogged it. Like, I was legitimately frustrated. Like, I get frustrated really easily. No, no, I don't. My patience have gotten, I've gotten a little bit better. Well, he's with me, so you know his patience is like this, but he gets frustrated easily. Because you don't do, do this every day. Yeah, I don't. But I didn't do it every day. I just got the hang of it. You just do it. I got anxiety just thinking about everything I had to go through. <laughs> Aw. Well, on my last day out, <laughs> it, was, it was really nice. It was really nice. It was so awesome, you know. It was amazing. Good? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Keep up my face. <laughs> no, the actress, the girl, Elena, who plays the daughter, she is just so well spoken when you ask her questions. And I wanted to get teary eyed. I don't know, it was so weird. I don't ever want to watch this movie. You're getting teary eyed. Oh, yeah. No, I got teary eyed because she was talking about, like, she's 18 years old, and um, she was just talking about how she tried out for the role and just the whole process of her trying out and getting you know flown to to do a chemistry reading and stuff like that and many of the new amigos don't know like i pursued acting and i wanted to do acting like that was my dream it's still my dream since i was four years old and i was taking classes it's just it's super expensive and then i had her so it kind of fell yeah. back and then i took more classes and yeah, it just yeah. you're just so busy and it costs a lot of money. Like, I think you have to take classes and this and that. You have to keep sharpening the tools. Yeah, you have to keep sharpening the tools. So it's like, I fell back on it. But it's like, when she was just talking about it, I'm like, I just got emotional. Cause I'm like that, I want to be up there answering questions and be on TV and film and just want to cry. And I didn't get to meet Nia, uh, which is the mother, the, the act, you know, the actress, the mom, the, the, the lady from the big fat Greek lady. So we're rushing them out because yeah. I have to keep doing interviews back to back to One back minute. to back. So yeah, that was it. Was really nice. That's good. You had a good time. High five for good times. We do, no, we do our foot high five. No, speed, eh? Why do your shoes look so busted? They look all floppy and floppy. They look Are like sad converses. And I didn't care my white converses. They're really, extremely dirty. Foot high five. Let's just put everyone's life in danger. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going shopping and yeah, join us. What else? And then I'm gonna go home and I'm going for a long run because I need a meditative space away oh, from come life. Come on! I need I, to. I need, I need to unwind. I don't know how you're not an alcoholic. <laughs> I don't know how any, any stay at home mothers are not alcoholics. <laughs> like, I have a whole new painted. <laughs> Like effect on my life, staying home just two half a days, not even half. <laughs> All together was like a whole day. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Pops, pops stay home, mom's pops. High fives. High fives. Not to that one too. <laughs> How do we buy this? We buy. Where's this. Sienna? Where's Buddha? We're here. Where's I, Sienna? I know I left her. I buy her. Oh. Who you buy? Who'd you buy? Me. I buy this. There's something in the box. Who's, bu who's buying it for you, Nana? <laughs> Me. Where'd you get your money from? Put it, make sure it's stuff in your pocket. Is it, you put the money in her pocket? No, Eric. Eric? Who's Eric? Eric. Eric? Yeah, uh, yeah. He gave it to her? Yeah, when? Her. Where? He's paying for it. He's, found, he's with his baby mamas or whatever brothers. So. Oh. Aww. Wanna say hi? Oh, those are some fancy those, eggs. Those are cool, right? Yeah, those are pretty. Maybe I'll get those for you and hide your stuff in those. Huh, because I'm fancy. So hold this. I want to see Eric. He was painting like he's leaving already. No, yeah, he's already leaving. Oh, okay. So I like these shoes from my Buddha. Don't front. Don't be fronting. Don't be fronting. Don't be fronting. Don't be fronting. Seriously? Oh, these are super cute. For 17 bucks. You still didn't get a cart, man? And then... Probably gonna push a cart and a stroller. 
I would have figured it out if I would have to do it. Pretty. Those are cute. Really nice. And they're not, they don't have the little thing in the middle of your toes. I don't like those, because those little, what is it like these? Where is it? Over here? Over here? These things right here. Right there, no bueno for your feet, and I know that they always make shoes like that, so I'm like, whatever. You know what the worst part about their shoes is? Not the, the worst part of their shoes is not the thing that goes between your toes because that's supposed to be between your toes. It's not good, it stretches your feet out. That's why I have Flintstone feet. No, the fact that what stretches them out is that there's no arch support. Yeah, that too. And then I was looking at these because every <clears throat> mom over here, every girl needs white, silver, and gold, black. And brown, and then and I guess more time to explain what you need too, because <laughs> this this just continues to go and go and go. I'm trying to just teach them a little some tips. Some tips. The pink is just like an added. You want shoe it. taste? You want shoe style? You want shoe advice? Go to my mom. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Betsy or BT's mom. BT. Shoe guru. <laughs> shoe guru. We call her a shoe roo. Shoe roo. Look at you figuring out this whole single dad thing by yourself. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> this is so, cute, right? It is cute. But it's three months. It still wouldn't fit him. No, oh, no, no. not for three months. Not for three months. See, and then if you get a newborn, it's too small. <laughs> yeah, oh. They don't have that. Zero to three or three to six. I think it's something you should be graded. Our newborn or three months. You know, I'm going to open up my, have my own clothing line. Make sure they have just, the one just, month. Literally, no, that's all you do. One month, two get months. Get the ones that are like two months. One month, two months. And then you got yeah. seven, eight months. In between six to nine. Everything in between. Oh, don't steal our idea. I'll sue you for everything you've got. <laughs> we are in a predicament. Hey, Buddha, wait. I like this swimsuit. Very cute because I like two tooth. And then I like this one. I like two pieces. And it's just very like vintage. Wait, Buddha, which one? Which one? Este rosado or el turquesa? Hard decisions. One has a tooth. Yeah, but this one has polka dots too. And it's pink. Rosado. I, don't you love pink? Yeah, but I like blue too. You like turquesa? Why do you like that one? Porque te gusta? Because it's like blue. Is it because it has a tutu around it? Yeah. <sighs> we can only buy one right now. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I'm getting the pink one. I really like it. I don't want her to be upset with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Being a parent is very difficult. All these decisions you have to make are very difficult. You guys, how smart is this? this it's different brands, but it's all geared towards like bug finding. Um, it's good. You could paint your own bird feeder house. Sing shots. Buzzy buddies. My first garden. Oh, I like this. I want a garden now. Paper planters. This is brilliant, I swear. Oh, and this is the cutest thing ever. Little hose heads. Has different animals on it. Oh, do they have it? Do they have our flavors? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, BJ's. Just found, well, he just found out that they said that you wanted the flip cups here. But they have caramel and almond tunes. Bro, the crap. What the heck? Anthony. Que? Say Anthony. Anthony. Que pasa, Mufasa? Mususa. Are you really gonna get it? You're eating all that crap by yourself, you and your daughter. I'm gonna go find my own snack. Well, I kinda did. I found croissants. Let's see, should I just yeah. go to a stop and shop? Should I just see if they have a sale there? Shop, shop. You wanna take that risk, bruh? You really wanna take that risk, bruh? Huh, bruh? Yeah, you wanna take that. Um, 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 what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> um, um. I did that! Look how Chapito s sleeps. It's so funny. He sleeps just like you. Are you ready? We call this. Ready, Buddha? You gotta do it. We call, we call this doing the GP. Ready? Do the GP. Do it. Do the GP. Oh, Cheeto, can I want to live with him? <laughs> I want to live with that guy. He had two bags of chips. I want cereal and Cheetos. No. This man is depriving me of good food again. Disinterest yourself in crap. Where are we going? 
I hate my life. Someone save me from this cruel, cruel dictator. Oh, we are finally home. I'm so exhausted. Too much running around today for all of us. It's too much late. This is why they say stay home when you have a newborn. Like stay home for like the first six months of your life. I'm exhausted. Okay. It's the first alone time we've had all day. <laughs> Gonna. I am your mother. Oh. Hello. Mm. My baby. My little chubby. Ooh, do you see yourself? I think he sees himself. Mm. Dad is putting the groceries away. Because that's what he does best. Buddha is doing Buddha things, which he does best. And my mom and Gunner are just relaxing peacefully. I have to edit, eat. I ended up getting a salad. So I haven't drank any water. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. So, gotta get to it. This is the salad I got. What is it? Spicy chicken Caesar. Chicken Caesar. And the dressing is lemon garlic Caesar and a lemonade. It came with a lemonade, or did you get the lemonade? I lemonade. Why would you do that? Because what are you gonna drink it with? Water. Well, there's water content in there. <laughs> You're not doing my diet any good. He suggested let's get Chinese food or Thai food, which I love. And I, you know, babe, tell him I did good. What did you do? I said, no, I can't eat that. And I really want to eat that. And he's like, so let's get the five to five deal at Wendy's. You can't get the five to five. I said, no, I can't eat that. Stop myself. And then I wanted to get Captain Crunch because it was on sale at BJ's. I shouldn't get it. No, you shouldn't. No, you didn't get it because it wasn't on stock. Oh no, and then I said, oh, they made my fruity pebbles. And I was like, no, I really shouldn't. He's like, yeah, you really shouldn't. And then I didn't get it. So guys, moral of the story is, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Be proud for me. Let me get salad. What do I get? Huh? I get nothing. That's the best thing I got. Nothing. I'm down here though. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. Only 4 o'clock. See you. Yeah. Yeah. 4 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We shall see you. Can you please do it this time? Yeah, please. And we shall see you? To manana. No, manana. Manana. Listen. And we shall see you? Manana. Okay. I made a bird. Talk. Well, a bird. Comment below. Comment uh -oh. below. Betsy doesn't want to make me write rice anymore. I don't want quinoa. I don't want brown rice. I don't want it. I'm going to insult her by telling her that she overcooks the stuff. Not all the time. Not all the time, but I, I, I want white rice. I want rice. It's essential to my diet. And I want brown like quinoa. I'm trying to lose weight. So, what but do you I'm think we should have? I'm not forcing her to eat my stuff. So, you know, see, I'm not forcing her to eat my, my rice. I just want my own rice. She I'm got, not making two different rices. She can make no. it on the side. Make mine no. earlier in the day. No. And that's it. So, I'm going to make two cups of rice, and that's going to be good for two, three days. Yeah, but can you make it like your mom makes it? Because it's like still fluffy the next day, your mom's. Yeah, I don't know how my mom does that. Yours is like, it's hard. It comes in chunks. Alright, let's ask my mom for the white. White rice recipe in the cook pot. I don't pot. mind having pot. stock pot, stock pile of rice. Don't I just want that. my rice. I don't want the brown rice. I don't want burnt quinoa. I don't want it no more. I love <laughs> her. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. He so said doesn't appreciate I'm it. I'm appreciative of what she does for my family here, but her cooking is not always the best. And I don't even like eating it. I am time. training for many, 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 many marathons. So therefore, my diet needs to be very, 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 very good for me. Okay? Therefore, when I want my rice, my rice. They got done with that, though, too. But as much as we shall see you tomorrow, blah, 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 you know the whole deal. Mm -hmm. Beard kiss. Mm -hmm. Buddha. Buddha kiss. Buddha kiss. Buddha kiss. Buddha kiss. Buddha kiss. Buddha kiss. Hello. Come on, now. Stop playing with your mm -hmm. Okay, Chapito kiss. Ah! Chapito kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Jaywalking. 